What's up, y'all? Thanks for checking out the video. Uh, if you're watching this, you're either looking to upgrade your hard drive in your MacBook Pro, or you're looking to replace a failed hard drive. Uh, in my case, I've replaced a failed hard drive in my MacBook Pro. It's a great computer. I like it a lot. It's crucial to my business, and it's what I use when I'm on the go or traveling or not in my home office. Um, it is the go-to device I'm working on. So. I purchased this in 2012. It's a great machine. Um, I, I really like it a lot. It has slowed down quite a bit lately and it got to the point to where I would get the little spinning beach ball and it got worse and worse and worse and longer and longer and longer until finally there was an issue. We ran some tests and found out that the hard drive had failed. 750 gigabyte uh, disk hard drive which is what came stock in the machine um, so if you were to take it to Apple or if I were to take it to Apple I got a quote somewhere around $200 for the swap started doing some research and found out that it's really not that difficult of a process I mean anybody can do it um, it is not not hard at all um, so I elected to go that route so I picked up a Seagate And this is an internal solid state hybrid drive, um, and it's one terabyte. This will work with Windows or Macs, so you can use this on either. I paid 85, 90 bucks for it, um, but it is bigger than the one that I'm, I'm pulling out of the machine, or I did pull out of the machine, and uh, I should get some better performance out of it as well too. Um, so in the first video, I'm going to show you how to technically remove the hardware and put in the new hard drive and uh, in the second video I'm going to show you how to set up the operating system and format the drive. If you guys have any questions let me know. If not, good luck. What's up YouTube? Thanks for checking out the video. In this one we're going to replace a hard drive in a MacBook Pro I purchased around mid-2012. The hard drive we're going to replace the stock one with is the Seagate Laptop SSHD, which is an internal solid state hybrid drive. It's one terabyte, and you could use this for a Mac or you could use this for a PC as well too. Uh, so it will apply to, to either operating systems. You want to remove all the hardware from the back of the computer or the cover take special care not to lose this hardware. Um, it's very small, very delicate. If you drop it on the floor, uh, it, could, it could get away from you pretty quick. So be real careful. As you can see, I'm taking special care to lay each screw adjacent from the hole it came out of. You're gonna need some precision tools uh, in this job. The, the hard, like I said, the hardware is very small so you're going to need computer tools, not so much a typical Phillips head, but the precision style tools. Once you get the cover off, as you're going through this, guys, go ahead and get a can of air or some rags and get all the dust and dirt you might be able to find in your machine out. All right, so now that the cover's off, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take out the brand new hard drive, um, make sure that it matches and fits directly with the hard drive you're replacing. Okay, now getting the hard drive out, there are two mounting brackets um, that hold the hard drive in place and stable. Um, there's two screws on the inside there that you take out and that will allow the hard, the hard drive to flip out of its location. Once you get the bracket off, just pull the tab on the stock hard drive. And as you can see, it comes right out. Now take special care here. Um, you want to unplug the data strip from the hard drive. It shouldn't be too difficult, it pretty much slides right out. Now on the side of the hard drive are these four bolts, and these little screws or little bolts um, fit in the stabilizer brackets on each side. So you wanna take those screws out of the old hard drive 
and install them on the new hard drive. That will ensure that the hard drive doesn't flop around and stays in place. Then just plug the data strip into the new hard drive and it should fit like a glove. Once you've got the hard drive in place, reinstall the mounting bracket. And that's basically it, guys. Just put the cover back on. Be real careful to uh, put the screws on. You can use some Loctite on the screws to keep them in place. Um, you don't want to tighten them down too tight. And the install is complete. Thanks for checking out this video. This is only half of the installation or the replacement process. The other half of the process, you have to format your new hard drive and you have to install the current operating system, so the current OS. This is really easy to do and I'm going to show you how to do it in part two. Thanks for checking out the video. Have a great day. Hey y'all, thanks for checking out the second half of this install. In the first video, we showed you how to open up your MacBook and replace the hard drive. In this video, I'm going to show you how to format your hard drive and reinstall your OS. So first and foremost, before you hit the start button, hit and hold Command Option R. Then hit the start button. Keep holding these buttons until you see a spinning world icon. Next step is to establish your Wi-Fi connection. So it's going to give you a drop down and ask you to connect to your Wi-Fi. So select that and then enter in a password if your Wi-Fi is password protected. It's going to take a few minutes. You're going to get this screen with a spinning world again as your computer starts updating and downloading information. All right, so we have a brand new unformatted hard drive in this computer now. So the next thing we need to do is format the hard drive before installing the operating system. So click on Disk Utility, and then click on your hard drive, and click on Erase. Now by erasing this hard drive, we'll be formatting this hard drive. So you have the option to name it. And this is the name in which your hard drive will appear on your machine. Click Erase. And it's going to say you're going to lose all information. Yeah, it's a brand new hard drive. There's no information on it. So don't worry about losing anything. And that's it. Your disk is formatted. Now we X out of the disk utility and then we click on reinstall the OS and from here it's really simple guys you just get the process going you know you go through all the prompts your machines gonna walk you through the entire OS X install um, agree to terms and that sort of thing and from there that point it's a waiting game oh you need to select on your hard drive here to move forward to install. So we're going to save the OS on our new hard drive. All right, and from this point, it's a waiting game. Um, it's going to go through a series of screens that are kind of like this as it installs the new operating system or downloads the new operating system and then installs it. Once this process is complete, it's going to walk you through. Once this process is complete, uh, it'll be just like setting up a new computer straight out of the box from the store. Except you have a brand new hard drive. So y'all let me know if you have any questions. I hope you found this video informative. Um, this is a awesome way to upgrade your machine and not pay ridiculous prices through, you know, the Genius Bar at the Apple Store. Uh, like I said, they would charge you $200 for this kind of work. 
and you know you can go buy a hard drive you can get a refurbished drive um, for really cheap but you can get a brand new hard drive for you know 50 to 120 bucks so thanks for checking out the vid have a great night